one thing I see dialysis patients do, which causes nothing but stress, aggravation, and worry. So before I get into the video, please subscribe to my channel and smush, press, smash the notification bell so, don't, so that you don't miss out on any of these really good videos. Mistake I see dialysis patients make is comparing themselves to others. Why is this a mistake? Well, patients oftentimes have a perceived outcome that they're expecting based on a comparison to someone else. And these are the four major areas that, they're, that the comparison is oftentimes made. Number one, they're comparing how long they run on the machine compared to another person. Oftentimes, the variables that make us decide, not make us, the nephrologist, decide on how long a patient needs to run is based on their access, how big they are, how much fluid they've gained. So that varies between patient A and patient B. So if you weigh 55 kilos and you have a great running fistula versus a person who has who's 125 kilos and has a CVC in their chest. They're not going to run the same amount of time. They're just not. And so we're constantly explaining to patients, hey, you're bigger than they are. You have a different access. So that's the reason you run a different time than the other person. Another area that people complain a lot is how much liquid to drink because they'll see another person who has the, the 64, 48 ounce big gulp from the convenience store and then they pull off their six kilos of fluid and they're perfectly fine on the outside. Then this person is like, Stephanie, you're always fussing at me about my fluids, but that person gains six and seven kilos and nothing bad ever happens to them. Are you sure we can't gain that much fluid? All right, then try it. Next treatment, they gain a whole bunch of fluid. They're sweating. Their blood pressure is low. They feel like a pure dog at their treatment and afterwards. And they're like, you know what? I can't gain that much fluid. It actually makes me sick. And I'm like, yeah, I know, because you're different than that person. You know, oftentimes if you have jacked up cardiac status, pulling off fluid is gonna be very difficult. That's actually one of the signs that there's probably something going on cardiac wise. If you can't pull off, you know, one, two kilos without your blood pressure bottoming out, without you feeling sick as a dog, without you cramping, that's actually a sign, which is, you know, a side note. Another way that they compare themselves to other patients is when other patients mistreatments. Because oftentimes we recommend, hey, you need to come three days a week, you know, for, for your optimal health care and management. And they say, hey, he don't come three days a week. Don't nothing happen to him. And you're like, just because nothing's happened to him immediately does not mean that you should follow suit and follow down his path of missing treatments excessively. And one thing you must keep in mind when you do mistreatments is that kidney disease only gives you 25% of what your natural God-given kidneys provide. God-given kidneys can give you 100% clearance. Dialysis only does 25% at the most when it's done the time the doctor says, effectively, efficiently, and everything runs smoothly. You're getting 25% of what your kidneys used to do when they work properly. So no, don't follow down that path, right? And then the last area that patients make the comparison is when you see other patients die. When other patients stop coming to the clinic, patients will say, hey, what happened to such and such? I'm like, oh, well, they passed away. And you know, you oftentimes cannot go into detail on another patient, the cause of their death, because that that is um, a HIPAA violation. You can say the patient died because it's public record that someone passed away. That's not secret. You know, it's public record. So you'll say, hey, such and such died after the patient asked. And they're like, Oh, did they? You know, and then they're thinking in the back of their mind, oh, we were about the same age. I'm going to die soon, too. And you're like, no, you're not going to die soon. Well, I mean, I don't know if they are, but oftentimes they, they're not. 
You're not going to die just because such and such died. You don't know what medical problem they had that they didn't share with you. People aren't going around saying, hey, I got a bad heart, liver, I got hepatitis. I got People not telling that. You know what I'm saying? So you can't compare when someone else dies. Even if you share a few similar chronic conditions, you don't know how well they were taking care of themselves, how well they were eating, if they had a great support system, if they were taking their medication medications and they were being followed by their special doctor. You don't know all those variables. And even if they're identical, it doesn't mean that you're going to die. So oftentimes when people are making these comparisons, they're creating unnecessary stress when there doesn't have to be. Dialysis is stressful enough without you putting the added burden of patient A does well, that person does well, that person died, that person can pull off 12 kilos and they walk out of here just fine. Hey, you might not need to pull off 12 kilos in a treat, okay? So, at one point or time or another, I'm always coaching patients back bringing them back to reality, saying, hey, you're not them. They're a different person. They have different problems that you don't have. And that oftentimes will relieve the person's stress and anxiety to a certain degree. But you're constantly having to coach people out of, hey, you're not that person. They're a different person than you. This is what we. This is the plan that we have developed for you. And this is how, the path that we want you to follow. You don't want to follow their path because we don't know why that person was doing what they were doing. You know, you don't want to go too much into that. And also, we want to bring the focus back to the patient, back to the things that they can control. Because there are a lot of things in dialysis that you can control that will improve your outcome, that will improve your care, that will improve your lifestyle. That is the most important thing of this video, to focus on the things that you can control. You can't control what another person does. You can't control that person's outcome. They have to live with that outcome. You have to live with your outcome. We want patients to take back control so that they feel empowered, that they can do what they can do to improve their lives. And that builds confidence, that builds self-esteem, and that makes them feel good about the situation because nobody wants to be on dialysis. It can be difficult. It can be challenging, but you can make it much worse by doing unfair comparisons that aren't necessary. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, you want to leave a comment below, I really would appreciate it because I love responding 